Hey everyone, it's Nick Fuller. I uh, wanted to do a quick book review on Rework. Read that on my uh, flight to Maui and while I was in Maui. Uh, overall, enjoyed the book. Really easy read. Uh, kind of reads like a blog post, like a compilation of all their blog posts. Nothing super groundbreaking here, but what I did enjoy about the book is kind of its focus on how do we stop fetishizing uh, tech crunch and Shark Tank and, and that whole culture of uh, build something, grow fast, uh, take on a bunch of VC money. Uh, the authors here, they, they found a base camp uh, software project management uh, company and their whole thing is build a sustainable business. And, and I really like that concept. Uh, really aligns also well with another concept I've been following recently called uh, sweaty startups. That's a little different. This is all about, you know, SaaS companies still building software, uh, while sweaty startups is more about building a, a local service-based business and uh, really out executing your, your local competition there. Uh, what I did really enjoy about this book are just the uh, the funny chapter titles. Uh, I love them and, and wrote a whole post about them. So this one is enough with entrepreneurs, uh, really just trying to a little cheeky with some of these titles here. Um, I like this. Making the call is making progress. Uh, so the concept there being it's better to make a decision, move on rather than agonizing over the right decision. Uh, there's really a right decision in business. Uh, really the best decision is any decision to keep things moving along. Similar idea here, quick wins. Uh, enjoy that, really try to apply that in the business uh, businesses that I work in here. Um, this one was a, a good one, underdo your competition. A lot of the times your people are in a, a feature race. How do I build more? How do I get this next feature? My competition is doing this thing. Really they're advocating there is how do we do less? How do we uh, focus on simplicity? How do we focus on our core audience and not being distracted by what everyone else is doing there? Uh, say no by default. That's that's essentialism. If you've ever read that book, really love that book. That book came to me uh, at a tough time uh, working in the startup world and really helped shape kind of my priorities, give me the confidence to say no to a lot of things that are being thrown on your plate. Uh, there, there's all, all sorts of different kind of chapter titles like that throughout here. I really enjoyed it. Here's a good one. Uh, hire great writers. Love that concept. Um, writing to me is really how you distill down your thoughts and make them usable, make them digestible. Uh, and if you're not writing more than just emails, uh, you're, you're thinking your clarity just isn't there. Um, so that's also why I write at nickfuller.com and have been since freshman year of college when I built it on HTML. Uh, so um, have have written up a, a quick review on this book, included all my favorite uh, chapter titles in there. Uh, I didn't buy this book. It says it costs uh, 27 US dollars. Uh, I found this on my bookshelf. One of my friends at work recommended I read this and uh, just brought it on the plane and was able to get through it pretty quickly. Overall, enjoyed it. Enjoyed the concepts in the book. Uh, would give it, you know, one thumb up and uh, hope you enjoy that. If there's other books you want me to read and, and recommend, please let me know. I uh, plan on putting out a lot more content here over the next uh, few weeks and in coming months as I continue to build out my personal brand. So to, to see more, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can check me out at nickfuller.com. That's N-I-K fuller.com. And uh, we'll see you here soon. All right. Thanks.